most crucial part when you're learning anything at all, good warm up. So we'll start warming you up. First thing, we're gonna go joint rolling. You'll probably look at it and go, this is ridiculous and it's silly and it doesn't place any benefits, but you were asking about things yesterday. This will be one thing that'll help get you going a little bit quicker and easier. So just start with the wrist, just nice and smooth. Go about 10 rolls in one direction. And then we go the other way. So what this does is this lubricates the joints. It helps create synovial fluid into your joints. You might think it's silly and it feels silly, but it's worthwhile. Especially if you have older clients. Really worthwhile. All right, and then same thing. You can just flex and extend. Move them in all their directions. I know, we all feel silly together. All right, so hands up. All we're gonna do now is just bend at the elbow. So hands to your head and out. Again, about 10 of these. So the wonderful part is we're all doing it. We all feel silly. We all look silly. Now, turn your thumbs to the roof, same thing. This changes the angle of the elbow, that's why we turn our hands. Do you feel like one of those clowns that you have to go and put balls in at the, at the show? Now, palms to the floor, and then same thing. Real weird bicep pose now. Yep, very simple but very easy. All right, arms by your sides, nice and smooth. Raise them above your head and down. This should, when you're not having things explained to you, take no more than two minutes, right? So two minutes of joint rolling prior to doing anything to warming up will make a huge difference to the actual workout itself. People underestimate it, but it's really, really important and it makes the world a difference for your clients. Now, hands out in front, it's as simple as open and shut, but it's all smooth, so you're not trying to snap the arms back. It's nice and smooth. Now, arms up level, and we're gonna just rotate, just side to side, nice and easy. So we're gradually working our way down to our feet. Now what we're gonna do, when we go, say to the right, we pivot on the left foot, when we go to the left, we pivot on the right foot. Now this throws in the hips as well as the spine. That's it, just turn on, there you go. Opposing foot. All right, now feet together. Feet stay flat the whole time of this. All we're doing is simply bending our knees and then extending. So just bend and extend. So it's not a full squat. You just simply bend and extend. All right, and then your ankles, just simple turn. Again, about 10 or so. You're right, you can come around guys, it's fine. You turn them in and out. And flex both ways and then do the same on the other foot.
Essentially just moving your feet in all sorts of different directions. All right, that is joint mobility. Like I said, when you're not explaining things, it takes literally two minutes to do and that's all it should do. But it's a huge crucial bit leading up into this. So now we've done a lot of different warm ups before, but we'll go through and I'll do a handful again to get you going. So, our hand walkouts. Come down, walk out to a straight line, and then walk back in. Stand up tall, and go with eight of those. Next one, going to come into a reverse lunge, hands down, open up, back down, and then stand up. Come down, open, and then up. Now it's nice and simple, just flat footed squats. It's a nice wide stance with it. Just control your descent down, just to parallel, and then back up. Make sure those knees go out towards the little toes, just nice and simple. You find warming up doesn't take too much. Couple more. All right, now, back into the hand walkouts. We're gonna walk out, add a push up, walk back in. So, walk out, push up, walk back in. couple more we're gonna lay flat with our arms out and we're gonna bring one foot over to our opposite hand they're called scorpions they're here I'm trying not to hit the camera into the ground so ideally keep your head all in contact with the ground I've got the microphone in the way
All right. And then one last one. They call these ones dive bombers or judo push-ups, Hindu push-ups, lots of different names. So your wide stance, hands in front of the shoulders. We scoop low to the ground. You can just finish at this point and come back or go up and around. And so you find warm-ups take probably about 10 minutes all up. And that's enough to get you going for any of your training sessions that you got coming along.